uh, our, our, our third speaker today, and we'll have questions at the end for everyone. To, uh, it looks like we'll have time at the end. Is uh, Professor uh, Young Sang Cho, who's had a great deal of experience in both the U.S. and in Korea here. He's um, currently a professor of the Division of Architecture and Architecture Engineering at Hanyan uh, University uh, here in Korea. And he's going to speak uh, on the, uh, innovation of uh, rebar uh, reinforcement uh, bar placement using 3D parametric modeling in high rise concrete structures. Uh, professor? Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Young Sang Cho at uh, Hanyang University. Uh, today's topic to present is innovation of a reinforcement bar placement using the 3D parametric modeling in the high rise concrete uh, structure. Uh, today's topic is mainly for the structural uh, building information modeling. Uh, as all uh, we know, uh, we are very much interested in uh, building information modeling. Uh, because uh, at the architect standpoint, uh, it can, uh, if you can model uh, the, the project, and, uh, uh, we can simply uh, very easily produce uh, uh, all the drawings what you want. And uh, especially visualization uh, is very convenient, uh, saves a lot of time. Uh, and uh, error check and uh, uh, revision is also uh, is very convenient. A structural engineer standpoint, uh, it's very similar, uh, but uh, the 3D, uh, the uh, BIM platform uh, has uh, one problem. Uh, it's uh, available uh, only when uh, the final working drawing is available, uh, we can model. But, uh, uh, if you do not, know, uh, do not know the result of the structural analysis, uh, we cannot do anything. Uh, that was the, one of the uh, big problems. Uh, so we uh, started to develop the, uh, some of the program uh, to use uh, the structural uh, analysis re result directly to the uh, 3D uh, BIM tool. Uh, especially, we were concentrated on the uh, reinforcement uh, concrete structure. Uh, and we have some uh, problems uh, such as uh, interoperability, uh, but uh, uh, we can uh, solve those problems one by one uh, using many uh, tools. Um, definition of uh, information, uh, building information modeling. Uh, we have many different uh, definitions, but uh, uh, National Institute for the Building uh, Standard in USA, uh, they are defining uh, building information model uh, is a digital representation of physical and uh, functional characteristics of a facility. As such, it serves as a shared knowledge resource for information about the facility, uh, forming a reliable base for decision using its life cycle from uh, inception uh, onward. Now, there are many different uh, uh, definitions, but they are very similar. Uh, we simply, we can uh, model in 3D uh, virtual space, and uh, we can accommodate a lot of uh, uh, different uh, construction information, then we uh, want to uh, utilize it uh, in uh, different uh, trade. Uh, the, if we can compare uh, this, uh, the, uh, f the, between the conventional uh, design uh, procedure and the using structured uh, design procedure, uh, there is some uh, differences. Uh, in con conventional way, uh, we uh, have to go through the all design process, uh, SDDD, uh, CD, and uh, bidding process, and uh, select, uh, selection of a contractor, and then uh, for them to draw the, start to draw the sharp drawing of the uh, reinforcement bar, it's uh, after uh, several months after the uh, construction is started. So uh, that's, uh, the, that process starts uh, in the uh, very later uh, phase. But uh, uh, using this uh, BIM, uh, at the beginning of uh, design development or construction document development phase, uh, if they can build this uh, structural model, uh, they can accommodate the very detailed uh, modeling of the reinforcement bar. Uh, which can even lead to the sharp drawing and uh, actual uh, preparation uh, of the uh, uh, reinforcement bar fabrication. 
uh, as you see, uh, yeah, okay, as you see over here, uh, the reinforcement bar uh, modeling and sharpening is taking place in uh, right here. When we're using this uh, BIM, uh, we can uh, actually see the final uh, the picture of the reinforcement bar modeling and uh, uh, the uh, subcontractors and contractors can prepare those construction uh, earlier. Right, this is uh, the uh, brief overview of uh, uh, this uh, uh, development. The, this is uh, the structural design process. Uh, it can be uh, any uh, commercial software. It can be a MIDAS, or it can be an ETAPS, or it can be a SAPS. Uh, then if, if you know the result of uh, uh, internal force, or uh, some software produce the uh, actual area of reinforcement bar. Uh, but uh, uh, with those information, uh, it does, that doesn't help to uh, how to build a 3D structural BIM model. Uh, but uh, we need to develop. Uh, I mean, developed this database, and uh, using those database, it should be able to draw uh, to the uh, 3D BIM tool. Uh, it can be any tool, uh, such as Revit structure or Tecla structure, or any other uh, the, the 3D uh, the BIM tool. Uh, so, uh, structural analysis result and uh, build a database, and we can use those for this case, especially for the uh, reinforcement bar uh, area, and the, uh, we need to develop to some uh, module to uh, place uh, those information from the database to the uh, actual uh, in the uh, 3D uh, platform, so structural uh, BIM platform. All right, this, uh, if you can see one example, this is uh, the beam development and. Uh, from the database, we can uh, use the old geometry information of the uh, concrete, and then uh, we can define the, uh, uh, the coordinate of the starting point of the reinforcement bar and the ending point of the reinforcement bar uh, uh, in uh, parametric uh, uh, technology uh, rule. So we can develop the, this, uh, uh, the how to uh, build a model uh, in the uh, 3D structural BIM tool. Okay, um, and using those information, uh, for example, BIM, uh, I mean, we have an entire model of uh, 3D uh, uh, structure, for example, uh, 10 to uh, any uh, structural model, and then we, we can build uh, uh, this model uh, for BIM and column, uh, also the, uh, the slab. Uh, but uh, this one, uh, I mean, for all the entire uh, building can be uh, the model uh, simultaneously, but uh, we can do by uh, one by one, uh, each uh, element to each uh, floor. Uh, this is one uh, example. This is a 66-story uh, uh, building. Uh, then we can uh, model uh, from the... Uh, the architectural uh, 3D model uh, in export to the structural BIM tool. And then in the structural BIM tool, uh, for this is slab case, a little bit different from the column and uh, beam because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, currently available software such as uh, ETAPS or SAP, uh, that doesn't analyze uh, slab in detail. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, uh, the, we have some uh, like a slab analysis, 3D FEM. Uh, so from the, the structural uh, BIM uh, model, uh, we can export just one floor uh, to the uh, finite element uh, the, uh, analysis tool, and then it can do the, all the analysis and design, and it produces all the information and final result of the reinforcement bar uh, and using those information, so uh, we can build a uh, database again, 
and then we send it to the uh, 3D structural BIM tool. Uh, it can be uh, any tool, uh, like a Revit structure or Tecra structure. Then we need a separate uh, uh, module to uh, do those uh, work. And then export to the, uh, uh, the uh, 3D uh, structural BIM tool. Uh, those are the main idea of this uh, research. Uh, for example, uh, six-story uh, six can be a Revit structure or Tecla structure. Uh, and then uh, we do the uh, detailed analysis using uh, 3D FEM tool and then send it back to uh, this uh, original model. So we took out one uh, floor and do the all analysis and we can send it back to the original model. So we have all the reinforcement bar model. All right, basically those are the idea and uh, uh, the structural analysis tool uh, does not do the, all the, uh, uh, they, it can uh, do the analysis and design, but you cannot build a 3D uh, structural BIM tool. So uh, we developed uh, those uh, uh, module to uh, uh, build a 3D parametric uh, model uh, into the uh, structural BIM tool, uh, which is usually uh, showing the physical model of it. Uh, from the physical model, uh, we can do many things. We can produce the sharp drawing, uh, or we can uh, connect it to the actual uh, steel fabrication, uh, uh, the uh, tools, so uh, they can uh, prepare and start to do the uh, reinforcement bar fabrication at much earlier time, uh, the beginning or even uh, before the uh, starting of the construction uh, uh, schedule. Thank you very much. That's my presentation.